akanirumia akanirejesha tena uhai wangu amina na unakaa yeah. sawa kabisa sana hata mtu hawezi jua nilikuwa no. mgonjwa kwani ulikuwa huko si uliona vinyo nilikuwa no, alikuja hospitali aliona vinyo nilikuwa you know when i really scared <laughs> ni mgonjwa and uh, liliambiwa na na you know the manager anaitwa Brian uh, the situation was bad yeah. that's how we joy so we went there uh, naweza kumbuka tuliomba mm. and uh, dudu alisema kitu moja mm-hmm. alisema akitoka kwa hiyo kitanda atatoa hivyo mpya mm. ya kuambia Mungu asante kwa kuponya. Na today nikimuona hapa naona testimony baby. Amen. Amen. Ah, hiyo sababu ile nilimwona alikuwa chini kabisa. Wow. <laughs> chini chini kabisa. Wow. So hata dudu kukuona hapa hata mimi ni in, Mungu ina in encourage. Yeah. Mungu anaweza kutoa mtu mali <laughs> haiwezekani yes haiwezekani yeah. yeah. na tunashukuru Mungu kwa nakumbuka hata ukitoka hapo alikuwa down sana kabisa and so basi uki, ukiangalia i mean wasanii wenzako ama watumishi wenzako wengine labda wanapitia vitu you know kisiri mm-hmm. hawezi sema mm-hmm. na labda sasa wamesema wamechoka na huu huduma venye umesema tu kana na mtumikia Mungu alafu hii ndio maisha yao eh. what would you say basi to the ones who at that point wanataka ku give up wamesema wamechoka sasa huu okovu uh, mimi naona hainifai tena jambo ambalo ninaweza tukuambia ni kwamba yule ambaye tuliamini ni mkuu kuliko haya yote tunayapitia so haijalishi shida gani tumepitia tumtegemee tu yeye mm-hmm. tumuite tumuombe na atatusikia mm-hmm. sababu biblia nasema mungu anawajua walio wake na tunamtumikia yeye wakati tunamwomba si atatusikiza mm-hmm. na atatujibu mm-hmm. tusiangaiki yani tusianguke sababu ya shida ambazo tunapitia na hii dunia ina mashida mm-hmm. na tunapaswa kungojea kila kitu kinaweza happen mm-hmm. sawa so, tuko katika ulimwengu wa shida mm-hmm. shida inaweza kuja lakini haitadumu milele itaenda mm-hmm. shida takuja amani itakuja ndio kawaida ya dunia hiyo sawa so, tukiwa watumishi wa Mungu tusivunjike moyo sababu tumepitia Yesu mwenyewe alipitia mambo no, no. yes how come sisi nini miti mikavu mm-hmm. <laughs> watumishi wenzangu waimbaji ukiona mambo inaku, inakufikia wewe vumilia tu omba Mungu muda wako utafika na wakati wako atakusaidia mm-hmm. yes Wow. Hey, I feel like I could talk to Dudu for so long and I I I still have so much I want to ask him about but um unfortunately our time is running out here on the show. But uh tell us then about this brand new song. Mm-hmm. Uh inaitwa nini? Inaitwa Unitete. Unitete. Mm-hmm. Yes. This is the song uliandika ukiwa hospital. Yeah, hospital. yes, no, niliandika kuanzia 2010. Wow. So nilikuwa naingia studio na rekodi mara producer na ni complicate mara inatoka kama aje mimi eh. nikachoka. <laughs> Nilienda USA pia nilirekodi hiyo song ikakata. Wow. Nikasema sasa mimi nawachana na nyimbo. Mm. Nikawacha. Sasa vinyo nilikuwa hospitali. Nikasikia the same song inaanza kuimba ndani yangu. Okay. Mateso ya mwenye haki ni mengi uh-huh. lakini Bwana umponya na hayo yote. Amen. Nikasema ah hii mwe na nikujia aje. Mm nikaingia studio sasa nilirekodi na ndio sasa ikatoka vizuri mm-hmm. nikasema maybe ndio sasa right time ya hii song ku yeah, kutoka absolutely you know what Dudu's testimony tells me very quickly i know we need to wrap up is you know sometimes i think we look at people's lives and you think that it's just so instant but there's a way that even the things that we sing and testify of years ago you know that song ni nahaja nawe it's still relevant even to your own story yes and sometimes i don't think we're cognizant of the actual price that we need to pay as believers yeah. um and now we don't appreciate that process but i think he's such a great encouragement that sometimes the songs you're singing about oh na fikiria umeshamaliza na oh wimbo but kutakuwa siku yani you have to sing that song you have to remind yeah, yourself yeah. of that song and of that testimony and so we're grateful even for how far god has brought you a song literally 12 years in the making at this point <laughs> from 2010 yeah, i cannot wait to hear it <laughs> and so we're going to get ready for that right now do do Asante sana always a pleasure talking to you. Amen, amen. You really bless my heart. You really amen. do. Um, Tuma salamu. Yes, salamu please. Kwa hiyo kamera. Mm, salamu zangu na tumia marafiki zangu wote kanisa letu la CFF Kiambu bishop wetu Harrison eh, sorry Harrison Nganga ni akubishop uh-huh. but namsalimu eh, bishop eh, Wanderi 
na mke wake waimbaji wenzangu na kanisa nzima Mana maneba rafiki yangu Ayub Brian Mtonyi ni jo ananisaidia pia kusongesha songesha mm-hmm. nyimbo yes na shukuru Mungu kwa wote na Mungu awabariki amen yeah. amen all right guys i think we need to wrap up Ken mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so thank you so much for being a part of the show please do join us again next week for more Auka uh, we're going to have a fantastic actually this july into august we have some great shows lined up for you guys so you don't want to miss out on those my name is Joyce Somondi why he catch up with me during the week at Joyce Omondi and may the Lord bless you and keep you and give you a wonderful, wonderful week ahead. All right. Let me just repeat the verse for next week for the kids. It's uh, Psalm 27 verse 1. It says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27 verse 1. Uh, That's the verse for next week. Uh, Thank you very much for all our viewers who have tuned in from 6 uh, right to 9. Makasaidi, tunashukuru sana for your support. And uh, tupatani hapa next week, uh, the same time. Tunashukuru Angela K and John K walikuwa hapa mbeleni. And also Dudu, asanti sana kwa kuja yo, uh, to share your testimony. Mm-hmm. And all the crew uh, that have been with us uh, right here on a uh, on a Gospel Sunday. Gospel Sunday continues to end a chat service and then later on Bambika will be coming in at 11 a.m. To know Penda Sana, this is the new song by Dudu Manengu. I hope you may put a visit to you.